All right, guys, welcome back. So we're looking at Vergetti, and you guessed it, we are going back to this because I think many, but many people have watched those videos where I started making a pump and dump. What was it, December seventh? Uh, is it a complacency stage, denial, panic, maybe early callouts on um, the stages? But this one, I think somebody uh, posted all the quantum names as well where this is now actually looking like a complacency stage this stage right here where it was sitting between 13 and 40 14 this is basically people uh where's the complacency stage bull market stage complacency where basically people uh this is a like a first bear market stage where Initial declines are often dismissed as a minor corrections. There is a general sentiment that the market soon will soon regain its momentum. So I want to give you other uh, stocks that have already completed most of the move, such as QMCO uh, and where is the other one? Qubit probably has a lot more to go. QMCO is at 200 day moving average. Uh, Ion Q is still up there. So I think both the RQ probably are ARQQ, Arquit Quantum, uh, QBTS. This is totally uh, doing absolutely uh, breaking out uh, of that stage where maybe it is a fake out and maybe it will, if it goes below the 20-day move, 50-day uh, moving average, then it can definitely come down towards two as well. So, Rigetti. For the Rigetti, this is, I mean, last time I talked about, I was talking about that this is premium option killing um, month. Exactly what we happened from option expiration to the option expiration. Stock price has done absolutely nothing hasn't declined hasn't gained much this is what you call iv crush okay so now following weeks i don't know uh, about the conferences that i've shared about the which are not coming up until the end of the or mid um march uh, you can go take a look at the nvidia's website where you will see it so I think now this stock is free to move and my bias is to the downside. I don't have a position. I tried to go short eye on Q last week, but I pretty much broke uh, even and just got out. Uh, it was very tiny size. And my price target for Rugetti would be somewhere around five bucks. And for eye on Q, my price target would be somewhere around 20 bucks, which has already started to decline. And again, uh, this one is at 31. Again, you can see on my chart, this is a 200 day moving average. And maybe we are at the stage where somewhere right here, complacency, and we're starting to break until anxiety hits. And we can see a little bit of a decline towards that uh, 200 day moving average first. And it can actually go a lot lower, actually. We can go all the way to these panic, anger, depression levels but that would be way way down here for let's say i on q around like 16 12 maybe even eight dollars can i see that happening absolutely i have seen it happen many many times for the rugetti i would be watching somewhere around like the three dollars three dollars and 85 cents this is the 200 day moving average but so far there's a bounce area of uh, the six bucks. This is the area I'm watching. And you can see um, uh, first level of defense I'm watching is this. Let me drop it a little bit. So this is a option expiration of the last month around like nine uh, eighty ish level. So below ten dollars, I would be certainly looking for to play some puts. I don't have a position again. I'm not telling you to buy or sell please consult your professional licensed uh, financial advisor. These videos purely for entertainment. So that's my update for these stocks. That's what I'm watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.